Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at today's instalment of Warhammer Fest 2021 online, where we look at the boxed games. If you didn't get to see Warhammer Fest 2021 online today, then this video is for you, where we'll recap all the models that were previewed. I was really hoping for some Warcry and some updates on Curse City. We didn't get either, but we did get some cool Warhammer Underworlds, and we also got a look at some Aeronautica, Imperialis, and some Necromunda. So let's get started and dive straight in and see what the Warhammer Underworlds released brought us. It was about the time to see this new Diachasm Warband release, so I was really expecting to see this today. And here we go, we've got the final 8th Warband of this season, and it's the Ideneth Deepkin. And these look really cool, I really like these right from the start. I was expecting to see some mounted fighters, because we haven't seen any yet in this season, and I thought we might see some of those. Especially when we saw the little um, hint with the fish a while back. But this crab was insane. I didn't expect to see a crab like this. Um, and the fish is pretty interesting too. But all round, a really cool little set. We're going to get five miniatures there. And uh, I really like what they've done with these. But yeah, it would have been nice to see some mounted beasts. But I'm not going to complain. I think this is great. I think they really have done so well this season. Every warband has looked amazing. I'm still waiting for my Crimson Court to be delivered though. So I hope I can pick up this set and get them delivered a bit quicker than that. But there we are. That's the video. And that showed us these five miniatures in full. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to perform. There's going to be five. So I'm not expecting them to be super tough. Um, but, but yeah, looking forward to seeing their, their cards and the different abilities they're going to have. Also, another great use of any Underworld set is to bring them into Warcry. And I haven't explored the Ideneth Deepkin yet, so that might be a good idea for a deep dive for tomorrow's video. But this was great. I was really happy to see these during the preview today. And so um, it'd be awesome to hear what you think about them, though. So join in in the comments below and let me know what you think. But let's take a closer look at each of the models now. And here's our leader. This is going to be the leader of the little warband. And it looks great. Got the net, this kind of spear, and then the eel coming out the back is really cool. And a uh, really interesting miniature. The headpiece is pretty strange. I don't know what I think about that quite yet. Um, but I really like the armour. It's really great. And obviously it just reminds me straight away of Aquaman the movie. Um, but these are really cool warband. But I, yeah, I haven't read much about them. So I think a deep dive is definitely going to happen soon. And here's the second one. This guy with a spear, kind of harpoon. Um, this looks great. So he would have some kind of range, I imagine, to his attacks. He can throw that. Certainly in Underworlds, that's helpful. But if we used him in Warcry, we could kind of use maybe one of the stats where he can throw up to eight inches away and maybe even pull the enemy towards him. I think that would be quite fun. But I really like this character. And um, that skin would be great to paint, that blue skin. Then we've got this one. I really like this. Nice pose. The shield's really cool. It almost looks like a kind of um, flatfish. So that's kind of interesting. Again, a real uh, elaborate headpiece. But this is really nice. Nice sword. So this was a good one too. But it's these next two that were the weirdest of the warband. And I really didn't expect to see these. And so here we go. We got this uh, got a goldfish and a crab. So that was strange. Um, I have no idea how they're going to be stats-wise. And how they're going to play... Um, in Underworlds, but the crab's got to be tough, hasn't he? He's got to be pretty hard to beat, and with those clippers, maybe do some damage. But interesting to see exactly how big he's going to be, and also what that fish is going to get up to. So that was it for Underworlds, the final warband of the season, and a great way to finish things off. I think, again, I think they've done so well. This season is amazing. Every warband has been brilliant, and I can't wait to get these too. So now we've seen Underworlds, let's move on to the, all the other things that they showed us during today's preview. And the next one, we're going to take a quick look at Necromunda. And here's the video they put out for this new set of miniatures for Necromunda. And I've not played this yet. I think the miniatures always look good. I mean, they look so interesting. And I picked up the Van Sargang just to play in a different game with my son and just to uh, play around with. But I haven't painted them or anything yet. But I really like the look of them. And their weapons were really interesting too. And these look great. Really, really interesting. But I think Necromunda for me isn't something I'm going to start getting into. I'm going to start bringing in lots more indie games to the channel starting really soon. And I can't wait to release and let you know exactly what's coming, which will be next week when it all starts. So that's really exciting. But back to the preview. That's the video. And then we can take a closer look 
at these different miniatures and here's two of them now really different really different to like 40k um so really interesting look to them and could certainly imagine using these in different games but uh yeah necromander's not on the list for now we also got to see this video which is for a, like a first person shooter game and this is going to be coming out for playstation xbox so expect the graphics to be really great on this and the fast gameplay too so interesting to see all these games being released now with their kind of partner companies so this looks quite fun um but again not for me but maybe this is something you're interested in and then finally we're going on to another video and this is where they're really teasing us now making out that um this model was going to be available in plastic uh but wait till you see it if you're excited about this i wouldn't get too excited because uh you're going to see the reality in a second but i mean the thunderhawk gunship does look awesome uh, but it's not as big as we thought. It's pretty tiny. And so this is going to be for Aeronautica uh, Imperialis. And again, I haven't played this game. But it does look fun. And I have I have had my eye on it for a while looking at the models. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to be going into this. I think there's so many indie games to explore. And so I'm going to be looking, if I do anything like this, to try and find something that's not Warhammer and play some different games on the channel. But they do look great, don't they? They look really cool. But again, what do you think? It'd be awesome to hear your thoughts. And here's the the little night wings here. And we've also got these uh, what, Phoenix bombers. So they look quite cool. But these look great. I do like these these Siphon Interceptors. I really like the look of those. And uh, the Storm Eagles are awesome. And so as a box set, yeah, it's got some appeal. Um, but for me right now, I'm not... It's not tempting me enough to get started. But this is the new box set they're going to be bringing out. The board looks awesome over this fiery kind of planet. And then you could pick up the Thunderhawk gunship as a separate model. So really interesting. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Join in below and let me know. It'd be awesome to hear what you think. And that was it. That was all the releases in today's Warhammer Fest online for the box games. I've got to admit, I was hoping for a lot more from this Warhammer Fest. I thought it was going to be a bit more exciting, but it, it almost feels to me like this is the usual week of, of kind of articles and releases, but just put into a different form, like a video form, instead of reading the articles each day. Um, but I don't know what you think about that. But uh, yeah, I've never been to a real life Warhammer Fest, but the online one, I don't know, bit of a letdown, but still fun to see all the new releases. And it's always interesting to see what Games Workshop are up to and how they're going to deliver their marketing for the different products. I'll certainly be picking up these new Ideneth Deepkin Underworlds Warband when they come out. I mean, they look great. And um, this whole season has been brilliant. So really excited about that. So definitely for me, the take from today has been Underworlds. Really wanted some Warcry. Wanted some updates on Curse City. But um, I guess we'll have to settle for Underworlds and be happy with that. But let's wait till Saturday where we might get some cool news about maybe an AOS 3 or who knows what they could bring out. But I'll be coming back and doing another video after Saturday's Warhammer Fest online and can't wait to see what that's going to be. Hopefully we'll be ending the week strong and coming out with some real cool models. Hopefully some, maybe some new factions. We'll just have to wait and see. But let me know what you think about today and all week really in the comments below. Join in and um, share your thoughts and ideas and your predictions for Saturday. It'd be great to hear from you. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. It'll be great to see you there. Hope you enjoyed the video and that this Warhammer Fest Online box game section for today gave you something that you're interested in but thanks so much for watching please like if you like it subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games